Hello, I'm Dr. Barbara McNulty, Director of the Suzanne H. Arnold Art Gallery at Lebanon Valley College. And we'd like to provide a sampling of our current exhibition, A Contemplation of Scenery, the Vassell Family Collection. This exhibition came to fruition as a result of the donation of 45 landscape paintings to the college. They were part of the collection of Dr. Elliot Vassell, who was also founding chair of the um, Department of Phar Pharmacology at Penn State Health Hershey Medical Center. In addition to his medical expertise, Dr. Vassell was also a scholar on a style of American art known as the Hudson River School. This was the first truly American school of painting. And in addition to the paintings from his collection, we were also gifted books from uh, over 500 books in his collection. And so in the vitrine on display, we have some of the vintage books that he had, using them for research. In addition to the vintage books that were also from the era that these paintings, this 19th century uh, painting school uh, had occurred at the same time, uh, we also have an edition of the book that he edited in 1964 on the life of Thomas Cole, one of the major painters from this school. We also have a catalog from a traveling exhibition that was mounted uh, with primarily works from the Vassell collection. People uh, often weren't aware of his influence uh, in the uh, people becoming aware of this school and also aware of the artists in the school. There are over 60 artists that can be attributed and it was uh, part of his contribution that he helped bring lesser known artists to the forefront. Now I'd like to show you what we believe uh, in the show is the quintessential Hudson River School painting. This painting by Henry Ari called On the Hudson is really the quintessential Hudson River School painting. It was painted in 1850, and as you look at the painting, uh, you can see in the uh, painting we have a farmer with a wagon of hay looking out into the distance. You see some of the, the cows in, in his herd. Uh, also, in the front of the painting, you'll notice uh, there's a dead tree. Well, as you look at this style of painting, uh, it was created as, as a celebration of the American landscape. And so uh, there are different symbols that you'll see. Uh, one of them, uh, as a viewer may look at it and see this dead tree, they're to be reminded of their own mortality. But even beyond that is, uh, if you can follow the gaze of the farmer out onto the Hudson River and uh, the valley beyond, uh, you see that it's, it's in the light. And so there's this idea of America being this sort of idyllic garden of Eden. Hello, I'm Rebecca Warhatch, and I'm the gallery assistant for the Susan H. Arnold Art Gallery. And I actually wrote the catalog for a contemplation of scenery, the exhibit that you're seeing here today. The catalog follows this main structure of the exhibit, and the exhibit narrative, a lot of the text from the catalog, was then later developed and formatted for the labels as well. And I'm just going to talk a little bit about the structuring of this exhibit. We start in um, a contemplation of scenery going over the development of the landscape painting genre in Europe and talking about how those conventions and elements helped uh, build the foundation upon which the American landscape painting movement in the 19th century, also known as the Hudson River School movement, As we turn this corner here, we start looking into the lesser-known artists of the Hudson River School, and this section has a good sampling of female artists. Dr. Russell was going into collecting the Hudson River School movement in its entirety and as the broadest genre possible. 
And so he collected a lot of minority artists, both female artists and artists of color. And we have some female artists represented in the show. As we start moving into this wall here, the exhibition focuses on the importance of location to the Hudson River School movement and the importance of these being specifically American scenes in this time period that was full of very strong nationalistic sentiment. As we turn the back corner of the exhibition, we start focusing on the specific landscape features. What imagery do we see in these works? What are the ideas these artists are trying to convey and how are these ideas related to broader culture? The last section of the exhibit is called Tourism, Industry, and the Environment, and it focuses on how the Hudson River School was influenced by these particular facets of American culture, but in turn also came to influence these facets of American culture. Another theme that we think is important to discuss with this exhibition is the theme of conservation. Uh, being entrusted with these 19th century landscape paintings, it's important that we care for them for the future. Uh, often you'll find um, there are different aspects of a painting that might need to be repaired, whether it's the wire on the back, missing paint, uh, maybe destruction uh, to the frame. Uh, these paintings have been through several different owners, and so uh, in thinking about conservation, uh, we prepared this display of one of the works that needs to be conserved. Now, we had four works conserved uh, for this exhibition, and um, as you look around the gallery, you will see some paintings that are very dark, and often those are the ones that haven't been conserved because they have a dark coat of varnish. Uh, the ones that have been conserved positively glow, and they and they are protected for the future. And so, what we thought we do is prepare a poster to show our viewers. Uh, what are some of the aspects that we're looking at? Now, this is a painting by an unknown artist uh, that does need to be conserved. And one of the things you'll notice is cupping uh, along the paint, which means that uh, the paint has dried and is forming little cup-like uh, indentations. And so this is something that a conservator could fix. Uh, also, you notice different aspects of the frame that need to be conserved. Uh, the conservator, John Hartman, assessed this collection uh, last year and uh, proposed uh, some of the uh, conservation methods that needed to be done in these paintings. Uh, what's really interesting is often looking at the back of the paintings, and we have this painting. You can see the back of it on display. Sometimes there'll be labels. Uh, we may have the name of a gallery that owned the work, or maybe it was in a specific exhibition. Sometimes we even might find uh, the name of an artist. Uh, several of the art of uh, the paintings in this collection do not have artists attributed, and so we'd like to do further research uh, to find out more about these paintings. And so this is all the process of discovery and conservation. Thank you. Our exhibition concludes with this painting by Augustus Rockwell, painted in 1873, known as Tupper's Lake. Uh, one of the things that we've pointed out in our catalog about this painting is that uh, as opposed to the painting on the Hudson I discussed earlier where the farmer was looking out into a bright landscape, an idyllic future, here we see a lone boater going out into a lake that's very dark. Well, this was painted after the Civil War, and so you begin to see a much more somber tone with the Hudson River pa Valley paintings um, at the end of that time. And so uh, we also see the dead tree in the foreground, but it seems to take on sort of a more ominous uh, feeling with that. And so I thank you for uh, joining us for the sampling of the exhibition, and I invite you to come and visit the gallery.